Hello and welcome to this new tutorial on how to use the Project Thirda modding SDK. In this episode, we are going to look at how to make custom maps for Project Thirda that you can load in as mods. Okay, to do this, I already created a folder called Test Map in Assets. And in Assets, I'm going to right click, create, and create a new scene. This scene needs to be called Main with an uppercase. And that's how the game knows what to load uh, in the game. Perfect, so let's open this new created scene. Then we have a directional light and a main camera, that's the default. So first of all, we're going to delete the main camera because otherwise we'll have two because the game automatically spawns the player inside the map. Now we're going to keep the lighting as it is. <clears throat> and I'm just going to model a, a few things. And to do this, I'm going to create a, an empty game object, call it block, reset its position and rotation. And inside of it, I'm going to create a cube. And this cube will be scaled up. And this is going to be my base. And on top of this base, I'm going to create another cube with control D and have something like a building, just like this. Okay, so we have a base and a building. And to make it look less boring, I'm going to add <clears throat> a material. And to do this, I'm going into Project Thirda SDK, Shared Assets, and Prototype Materials, and select this material right here. Let's take the black for the quote-unquote building. And I also want some kind of bridge between the blocks. So later I'm going to duplicate all of these blocks. Yep, something like this. All right. And I'm going to add another bridge at the other side. So it will be easy to duplicate this in all directions. Yeah, just like this. Now I'm just going to duplicate this object a few times. Zip. So I think we're going to we're going for three by three. Now I've selected all three objects. Control D one more time. And one more time. And then I'm just going to delete all of these. bridges that are not in use. I can select multiple things with holding shift. Okay, that's the base <clears throat> for the map. Something I like to do when I do these maps, I create an empty game object, call it map, reset its position, of course, and then everything goes into this map object. So I have the hierarchy cleaned up, completely optional, of course. Yes, that's the basis, uh, the basics for our map. Then I'm going to add water between these buildings and I'm going to do this by going into prefabs and drag the water prefab into it. Here we go. And there's the water. I'm going to lower the water just a little bit. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to look like. There's just one problem or a few more problems. There is a material included here. Um, there it is. And it's inside of another example. So we need to copy this component or this material and paste it into the test map folder. Otherwise, we won't have this water material. And also, I need to make a few adjustments to it because we want it to be rendered from both sides. And I think that's it mostly because now we can see it from the other side as well. Or at least we should be able to see it. Mm, what's, what's the problem? Ah, it's not allocated to the water. Yeah, now it's working. And you have to reference this water material into this plane. The water works like this. We have a water object and it has a component called flat water level. And this basically just tells the game that this is the water level 
and it acts globally. So the water level is true for everywhere in the map. So there's no uh, specific spots with water. There's just a global water level. And then we simply add a plane to make a simple visual at the same position and height as the water level object. So that's relatively simple. Okay, I think that's almost it. There's just one thing we need, still need to add, and this is a spawn point. Right now, the game doesn't know where to spawn the player. I think by default, it, the player will be spawned at 0, 0, 0, but I think it's somewhere inside a building. So what we need to do is to add a prefab called spawn point. And this spawn point object basically tells the game where to spawn the player. It's recommended to lift it up a little bit so the player doesn't accidentally spawn into an object. And it also takes the rotation of this object. So forward is always the blue axis. So let's rotate it by 90 degrees so the player is looking into this direction. And let's make it center to this cube object. Okay, that's basically it. We have our map. We have all the dependencies in our folder except for these materials, but these are uh, shared materials. That's why it works anyways. Now all we got to do is go into Mod Tools, Export Settings, and I already created a uh, export profile for it called a test map. The mod name is test map. Author is you. The mod directory is the test map folder that we created. It only has the scene and a water material. And we have the mod export directory, which is local low uworks third eye mods. And this time it's a little bit different. It, this time it's not spawnables, but maps. That's how the game knows that this is a map. It doesn't have any text to it. Okay, let's export this mod. Click on Mod Tools and Build Mod. It's going to take a little bit longer than usual because, oh, it's already done. It doesn't take longer than usual. Let me change the display to game mode. And here is where we can find the mod. We find it in Maps, so it's the world icon. And then we go into mods and here we have testmap.p3e. I'm going to click this and here we go. We are inside of this test map that we just created. Very cool. And let's see if the water is working by getting the spawn gun, vehicles, boats, and yeah, let's spawn a motor boat. There it is. It's swimming in the water. Perfect. It worked really well. This is the first test map in Project Third Eye. Of course, we don't have baked lighting in here. We don't have reflection probes. So I assume that you already know a little bit about Unity, so you can do this yourself. But just as a proof of concept, this is how you load your map into Project Third Eye. Now follow the development.